I grew up with, if you have more on your plate than you can finish, find someone who's hungry. And we, we grew up that way. I mean, philanthropy was very important in my growing up. So, of course, my first focus is an education. If a child does not have a decent education, he's doomed to fail. And if he has an education, it doesn't ensure success, but at least he has a chance at being successful. So to me, that's very, very important. In Judaism, we have an expression, he who saves one life saves the world. Okay, and I believe that. You know, you get to a certain point in your life where you say you've accumulated substantial wealth, okay, and you check it out and you say, look, eventually I'm going to be put into a pine box. I said, I want to get a cell phone there at least, a, che a checkbook and a cell phone. You can't have that. All right, no checkbook, at least a cell phone. No cell phone. I said, my God, you're going to be like everybody else, not a penny in your pocket and you're not going to be anywhere. So you stop to think and you say, well, wait a minute. This money is there and it's very comfort comforting to have it. But what can you do with it? You know, yes, you can invest it and make more money, but I, th I thought to myself, it's time to start looking around and saying, where can I give money to do good with the money that I've earned? 